I do. The taste is on another level. There's so much flavor in that. There's so many levels of flavor. Okay, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Joey and Derek. I just made that name up then, probably won't use it, but... Uh... <laughs> welcome to Joey's Wicked Kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we have Derek Sano here of Wicked Kitchen and uh, the innovator behind all the vegan foods at Tesco's. Oh. We've got another recipe, Derek, what are we doing? Today, we're gonna show how to make... I do the street style tofu, so as an egg replacement, instead of doing scramble, let's do something like a little bit. Elevated. Yeah. A little bit, kick it up a notch. So, we're gonna use the medium organic tofu that Wicked has. Whoa. I like the medium because of the creamy texture, and it really does lend much better to that eggy textures I remember when eating and cooking eggs. So, this is like taking vegan egg to the next level. We're gonna take it to the next the, level right with now. With the Wicked medium firm tofu. Okay. Yeah. So, what I'm gonna do is get these pans going. Just so you know, I just didn't, I didn't wanna waste our time on video, so I took a sweet potato. Okay. I peeled it, chopped it into chunks, and now I'm boiling it. So that's gonna be part of the dish. Okay. It's just that is in here boiling. And I'll strain that in a second as soon as it's done. I will open this tofu. And we're gonna use the whole block. So Derek, a lot of people say like, I don't like the taste of tofu, ugh, tofu. But yeah, like, well. they don't put any flavor on it, do they? No, exactly. And my whole thing is like, Tofu is only as bland as your imagination. Yeah. So you just have to season it. And instead of buying all those weird old gadgets of tofu presses, I just just use your hands, man. It's just easy. You know, I'm super simple. Just a couple, whatever less tools it takes to do something is easier. Yep. And I'm not a gadget guy. Yeah. And Fra Fra Frankie's just staring at me. <laughs> Frankie, what are My you dog. doing down there? <laughs> so the seasonings on it, I'm gonna use onion, We'll use a garlic. We'll also use the black salt for the egg flavor. I'm not gonna use turmeric just because it's a waste of time. It's fine, it looks good. What I could do is soak this in boiling water mixed with turmeric, it would color it yellow. Uh-huh. And uh, for people easy. who weren't in the last episode, what is black salt? Okay, so black salt is like sulfur salt, so it's very eggy. Uh-huh. And it, that's where you get that that's eggy flavor, and that's the trick, exactly. So, and where can I get it? Wait a second. Yeah, yeah, so where can I, I, so honestly, I ordered this one on Amazon because a lot of the grocery stores don't have it. Some specialty grocery stores might have yeah. it, but I haven't been able to find it in like the major retailers here. Google it up. Google it up. Black salt, or it's called Kala Namak. Kala Namak. Nice. I'm sorry if I mispronounced you that. You brutalized that pronunciation, but that's did. fine. Probably we're moving did. along. We're gonna use a little bit of apple with smoked vegan cheese in this one. Oh, this stuff here is, Oh yeah. Have you tried these new nooches? So we have the barbecue or garlic and herb. What, can we, are we, yeah. can we check so out new the nooches here? Garlic and herb flavored nooch seasoning, smoky barbecue flavored nooch seasoning. Can I just uh, sprinkle a little bit on my... Yeah, oh. dude, it's so good on popcorn or, or anything. That's gold dust. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's good shit. That's oh. good stuff right there. Oh my Lord. If you don't know what nooch is, for those people watching, like, what the hell is Nooch? These guys going crazy. It's nutritional yeast, yeah. and um, he's flavored it. Garlic and herb flavored nutritional yeast. It has a cheesy, nutty flavor. It's really delicious, and it's actually very nutritious, doesn't it? Sort of B12. Yeah, B12, and... exactly. So I'm just adding a little bit of that egg salt. You don't want to add too much, because it is pretty strong. So I'm just going to add a little bit on, on this side, maybe a little bit more. So the thing about tofu is a lot of the flavor doesn't penetrate within it. Mm -hmm. Especially when you just open up the pack. So mm -hmm. you really have to season it well on the mm -hmm. outside. So I'm just using a little bit of that black salt. And we're just gonna use the whole block like that. I'm gonna season the other side with the black salt as well. So we're, it'll really have that nice eggy flavor. Probably gonna be a total of half a teaspoon at most. I'm gonna use a little bit of smoked paprika. I, put a, I like to put everything on my hand. So you get that much here. Just on this side, we'll do it this side. So this will give it a nice little smoky flavor. All right, and you can season it however you like. I'm gonna use garlic. So a little bit of garlic, and you see how I just, it's pretty much covering it. Yeah? Nice. So I'm gonna save the onion for the other side. Well, this, I wanna check on these. So the egg industry is a very cruel industry. Uh, no matter which way you look at the egg industry, free range, um, 
you know, the enriched cage, the barn raised eggs, they're all horrible. At a certain stage in the hen's life, they start to lose their feathers, they start to get really sick, their bodies just start to become really exhausted and then the farmers will cull them off. It's really pushing out egg, egg after egg after egg each day is an incredible strain on the hen's body. Also, the male chicks in the industry don't even make it to the barns. They get macerated in a big industrial blender on their first day of life because they're of no use to the industry. So, And then there's also the parent breeder sheds that the, the, the males and females come from, where the eggs, fertilized eggs come from, which are always cruel, and uh, even free range sheds are very cruel as well. Dude, it's a crazy industry. So before my life in the UK, I used to have to go into slaughterhouses and egg farms, and because I used to be the global chef for Whole Foods Market. So okay. I used to have to go and see all that. And once you see it in person, and I know you go in all the time, it's, you can't unsee it, and you can't unconnect it to the food chain and what you're buying, yeah. you know, and what's offering. That's why we eat this way, it's why we eat plant-based, it's much more capacity. A slaughterhouse really does smell like a butcher. Dude, it's horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's just not, it's not something I enjoy at all. Mm. Or, and I'm no, I know the animals do. So, all right, so I'm just flipping that away. Always flip it away from you, because then the oil splats. Uh-huh. Not towards you. I'm, I'm Smart, lesson you, learned. you learned that the hard way. Let's, so <laughs> let's so we learned. don't have to. <laughs> so, a uh, little bit of onion garlic. Now I'm gonna, onion, sorry, onion granulated on here. So you can see that. It's really getting a nice crust. It's that, that cast iron pan just. Yeah, it's so good. And it's a real nice even, even heat. Even heat. And it's it's got some weight to it. Plus, it's like you're camping indoors all the time. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I just love it. It's gone with me everywhere. The thing looks like it's last, it would last forever. Eons. It, it, like, it, will, last, it will last longer than us. It will outlast humanity at this <laughs> rate, exactly. at the rate we're going. Exactly. God. I'm going to use a little bit of black pepper on here as well and a little bit of salt that just is for some beautiful. flavor. It might seem super simple what we're doing, but it's this is going to blow your mind. This wow. recipe. It's because it's so, I think it's so different. It's so, it's so good. It's I think the seasoning part of it is just spot on. Look at it. Yeah. You know? Now that is going, what I like about the cast iron pan is it can go right in the oven too. So I'm a big fan of like, stove top oven. This is how I cook a lot. Uh -huh. So I like oven safe pans and cast iron works so well for that. Yeah. I heated the oven on 200 degrees Celsius mm -hmm. on fan. That's I tend to always work with that heat because it's no. just, I want the crispy edge but juicy inside so that allows me to control that. And it reminds me of the restaurant days. Uh -huh. So I took earlier while you were chatting up, I took this sweet potato and just strained them. No, no biggie. So what I'm gonna do is add these back into the pot. And we're gonna do a quick mash. The monster mash? The monster mash. The monster, it is monster mash. It is Halloween. So I'm gonna add a little bit of butter here. No water, no liquid, because I want it super thick. Uh -huh. And you're gonna see this, what I'm gonna do. You're gonna think I'm crazy. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this baconese mayonnaise to it. Stay with me. All right, <laughs> so I'm gonna add a little bit of the mayonnaise, just for that bacony flavor. Uh, where's that barbecue nuchi? Yeah, we'll use barbecue, yeah? You like the barbecue flavor? Yeah, that, that was nice as well, yes. So I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of that barbecue nuchi in there. Right and now. that was vegan butter, by the way. Yeah, that's Everything vegan Everything is vegan here. So I'm gonna use a little bit of panko. So this is just breadcrumbs. What, I'm, what we're building here is a crust that we're gonna put on this tofu. Uh, what? And you can use any kind of breadcrumbs. I just like panko because of the they're a little bit extra uh, dry and they soak mm. up the moisture. I'm gonna add black pepper to it and a pinch of salt. And then I'm gonna, so I added the nooch, the pepper, the garlic. I'm gonna add some vegan cheese to it. So this is a smoky, oh, smoky oh, vegan Lord. cheese. All right, I, I didn't have a whole bunch in there, so I just used all of it. Now I wanna grab a fork and you do me a favor and mash the crap out of that. Don't mind if I do, this is Please. gonna be sensual. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll clean up a little bit while you're doing that. <laughs> Look at that. So, Joey, can I ask you a couple questions? Yeah, mate. How long have you been in the UK now? Uh, I've been off and on in the UK since 2018. Do you call yeah. the, the UK home? Yeah, I would. I'd say it's, it's, it is one of my homes. Yeah. Uh, UK and Australia. Yeah? So, yeah. Have you been back to Australia since uh, COVID yeah. kicked off? Yeah, when it kicked off here, I moved back to Australia for to do some touring there. I went Amazing. to campaign for the sea animals. Nice. Um, and uh, yeah, it was nice to see the family. I hadn't seen them for a while. So yeah. Yeah, but oh, awesome. I've only been here, uh, it's been about five, five years. Would you, hey, get, would no, you try no, it? <laughs> you can taste it. 
It's just, uh, it should taste good, so make sure it does taste good, if it doesn't. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Oh. It's good, it's that good like that. That is seasoned amazingly. What we're making here is like a, just pop it through over there. We're gonna make like my take on a full English breakfast all day, breakfast block party, we'll call it. Oh, so yet we'll have potato in there, a little bit of the bacon flavor, the eggy tofu, and it's much more of a street style. Like I just think you could probably get this if I had a food truck. I would do, my mouth's watering thinking about what the Dude, the name be. does it. Breakfast block party. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't it's want to be, go to one of those? It's gonna be delicious. And just so you know, this is the first time I've made this one. Wow. I just thought about it this morning. I'm like, I gotta do something special for Joe. Nice. So. Excuse me, Franks. Frankie, what are you doing? Frankie's hey. here. Hey. She's standing in the middle of, of Joey and I. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're sniffing around looking for sweet potatoes. Yeah, here. Yeah. Look at that crust, beautiful. Oh, that crust is making me juicy. So I'm gonna take a spoon, and this crust that you made, we're gonna do this. Well, I, I could take the credit for making that, but I really did just mash it. But. So, fantastic way to make tofu, and it's different. So if you just crust it up, try to make it like even. I try to keep it on the block, keep the party on the block, and we'll spread that, yeah? Does that look even to you? So you have the block, and this is the party on the block. This is the party. <laughs> well, you're, you're, doing, you're spreading the this party on the, the block. This is the party on the block, exactly. So there's a little bit extra here if you want to do extra tofu. Sometimes sure, I'll prep up more. It, smear it all over But this, face. you can see. You getting that in the camera, guy? So I'm going to pop this back in the oven, probably for a good 10, 15 minutes until that gets nice and brown on top. Cool. All right, you ready? We ready for the ready? great reveal? It's been about 20 minutes. Joey and I have been having some amazing conversations. Really good to have you over, Joey. I'm ready for this. This is gonna blow this your mind. This is gonna you ready? Ready? Oh. Look at Look that. Look at the crust on that. No, that's beautiful. So being the first time I've done it with potato, I have done it with just like panko and the mayo um, and street style, but having a full blown mashed sweet potato on here, that's just next level. Oh my Lord. So let's put this right here for the good camera angle shot for you guys. Ooh. Look at that. How oh, hot, mother. It's hot. <laughs> I have some fresh thyme out in the garden. I picked this earlier, me and Frankie. So a little bit of fresh thyme, just to, I picked it as a garnish, and then just this is how I would serve it. I personally would eat this whole thing. I'd make like two or three of them. You can cut them in half if you want to do half size for guests and then- Yeah, I would eat the whole thing too, Derek. Let's not make, yeah, let's, you know, make yeah. let's not mess around here. And then it's great with, if you want to do like, there's potato on it so you don't have to serve it, but I would do it with a couple of veggies, whether you're doing roast broccoli with it, seared mm. spinach, cauliflower, any vegetable would go well with this. Right. But this is good. So I'll cut, you want, you ready to try it? Oh, like, yeah, let's rock and roll, really. We're just gonna eat this right off the, right off the board if you're good with it. Here we go, professional slicing. <laughs> All right, move this up to the side. Okay, ready? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, awesome. That looks, man, it smells so good. It smells, <laughs> it just smells. Oh, you can, okay, this is what it smells like. Bacon, cheesy. Yeah, it does, you right? You know, herby. Amazingness. Right here. That smoky cheese works really good with this. Dude, it's so good. It's so good. So we'll just do four good size slices here. Look at that. It's oh freaking God. amazing. I'm gonna have to take a picture without my phone. But uh, took oh. a quick picture for the gram. Well, me and Joe are here. Got it. <laughs> Anyways, I want you to try this. We, you could season it with more salt and pepper, but I think you should try it as is. I, I think it, you know the season, let's just go. Oh my lord. It's oh, the crust. It might be a little hot. I know, right? The crust on the bottom of the tofu is key because you want that texture. So you have that creamy-ish center, like an eggy would be, and then that you have that crispy crust on the outside, and then that super indulgent, decadent topping. You can see the crust with the fork. It's really like... Yeah. Stands out. It might be really good with uh, barbecue sauce or sriracha. How's that? It's hot. It must be hot. 
it's too delicious to care that it's hot. <laughs> wow, dude. It's good stuff. That looks amazing, but it just, the taste is on another level. There's so much flavor in that. That's right. There's that's, so many levels of flavor. That's the, the And thing. the textures. Building that whole flavor is really important. It's that, you know what, that crust makes it sing. Mm. And the topping is just, it's perfect. Oh, yeah. You get the crunch of the crust, which is excellent. It's amazing. Mm. Should we get a... Jimmy the Sound Guy. Jimmy the Sound Guy over here. Come on, mate. Jimmy the Sound Guy's not vegan. We had him in the last episode, so we're gonna see, we're gonna get the non-vegan's perspective. There you go, buddy. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Let's have a, have a little, you know, have a little go on that. Yeah. Ooh, that crunch there, it's nice. Okay. Here's the moment. The drum it's roll. Hot. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> Hot though. Oh wow. It's good, yeah? Oh wow, you were not kidding. Yeah. The smokiness of the cheese, that touch of uh, thyme, fresh thyme as well at the end. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Mm, nice. Mm, mm, mm. Thanks, Jay. <laughs> Dig right it's in delicious. There. So what's nice about this is you can get it to that point where we crusted it in the morning or, or and just or keep it overnight in the fridge and then just pop it in the oven when you have guests come over. So 20 minutes in the oven. Could you have this for breakfast every morning? Every Jimmy? morning. Wow. Every morning. Dude, this is breakfast, delicious. lunch, or dinner. This is a good This is a veganizer. This is a this, this would veganize right people on the spot. It makes tofu <laughs> sexy. Mm. Amazing. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Jimmy. Yeah. Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> So we've got another successful recipe here, Derek. Everyone's happy. Where can people find you if they want to find, follow your stuff and... Some more recipes. So Derek Sarno on Instagram, Wicked Healthy on Instagram, Wicked Kitchen Food on Instagram. So we have three accounts. And then uh, also the Wicked Healthy YouTube is where we do all our long form recipe videos. Mate, you can thank us later if you try one of these recipes, I tell you right now. Dude, honored to be working with you on this. It's awesome, buddy. Legend. Thanks. Thanks, guys. If you're an onion, I wouldn't mess around with Derek. Okay. Oh, good. Damn. That's gonna be mustardy. That's a restaurant quality sandwich.